had these items sitting in my room for about a month now. Um, with the goal, because I hate having nothing to do all day, obviously. That's, like, going insane. You know, and that's how my, most of my life has been. Um, and so, and I like to help people. I especially have learned that despite my um, more modern views and... I used to honestly not like the elderly. I was, you know, one of those people, young people who think the elderly are just ignorant and mean and not someone, a person my age would want to be around. And in my, in my um, defense, my own grandparents, who we take hook care of here in this house, uh, my grandfather was a very difficult man to be around. And my grandmother... She had advanced Alzheimer's, and she hadn't been herself for a really long time. So, my siblings don't know her very well because they don't only know her with Alzheimer's, and she didn't even know who she was at that time. I remember my grandmother before, though, um, and she meant so much to me. I was so devastated when she died, even though she was kind of already gone. Anyway, that's not really about. This isn't really about that, but um, I want. I like to do things to help others. My mom works at a retirement home. Also, it's an assisted living facility. It has both. Um, it does not take care of more severe situations like the elderly who can't, who need round-the-clock care. They have a lot of Alzheimer's and dementia elderlies there. And I actually love being around them. They all love me, and I find they're not as bad as I thought they would be. In fact, I think a lot of them have something to teach, and some of them don't. But with those cases, you just kind of smile and remember that this isn't about you. Taking care of the elderly is about making them happy, making their lives better. It's not about whether they hurt your feelings or said something inappropriate, which men sometimes do. Um, I like to volunteer there, and I haven't been able to do that very much lately. But I'm hoping to get back to that now that I have my wheelchair and my dog's chewing a bag. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to get it from him right now. So I've been wanting to learn to knit. Specifically to knit what's called twiddle muffs. Which are basically a glove for those of my age who think muff is something very different. Kylo! Go somewhere else. Um, and you basically just knit a glove, a long glove... With no thumb hole or anything. Kylo, you're frustrating me. Baby boy. Go somewhere else, okay? Go someplace else. Go lay back down. Go back to bed. So, I've been wanting to knit those. You just, you like I said, you knit this loop of fabric. And um, you sew things that are fun to just kind of mess around with in your hands. As people with dementia and Alzheimer's often have that urge to doing something with their hands. Um, having autism myself, I'm well aware of what things are fun to play with and what things aren't, so I figure this would be a good thing to do. Um, trying to learn how to do that. Got a lot of fabric to work with, and my dog just took my knit bag. Oh, you butthead. So I bought all sorts of little fidgets with keeping in mind that the elderly usually don't like to wear something that's too um, bursting with color. They like things that are more toned down. Um, so there's all sorts of little doohickeys to work with here that I got picked out. Um, these are kind of, I don't know if I'll actually use these, but I thought, you know, might, might. And these little organic wood buttons. They feel kind of interesting. And then some materials like these. I feel like some of the items are actually missing. <laughs> they weren't in that bag though, so. Oh well. I think this is most of the items at the very least. Got my needles, got my yarn, watch some tutorials. So hopefully this will work out. Like, and like I said, the place near here doesn't really have people with, I mean, it does have some people that are more severely disabled by their, um, Alzheimer's and dementia, but, um, those people are on the verge of basically having to transfer 
to the other place, this place called Legacy, where my grandmother used to live, um, which can give more care. Um, I should probably go get that from my dog right now, but anyway, uh, yep, that's what I'm up to, and we'll see how this goes. If this one goes well, then I'll keep doing it and making more. This is the start.